All right, buy a string, some ideas. All right, so you already had this cool thing to sound. Oops. Oops. With the E minor nine. After you do that a couple of times, you could introduce some new harmonies. Uh, so you go back to the original riff, this, um, That will get you into the key of D minor, believe it or not, and you could do that. And then again. which will get you back to... Okay, so here's what I did. Uh, after you run through what you gave me uh, a couple times, then you, you start in with this lick again. This chord is a C with a B flat and a bass. Four, five, three, five, two, five and string six fret six is to B flat. Then back to this little in-between riff. That second chord is uh, uh, something with an A in the bass, a, a C sus four with an A in the bass. So four, five, three, five, two, six with an open string five. And one more time. Oops, I messed that chord up, so let's try it again. That's to get you into D minor. So what I did there is... I'm doing this, this pedal tone, this B flat pedal tone. And then 3, 5, and 2, 5 is like a little C chord. Then I changed to a, a straight up B flat chord. Still got that pedal tone, but I, now I have a, a three fret seven and two fret six. So. Tough picking, but. This chord is, I keep the B flat, now it's an E flat chord. No, uh, that's not an E flat chord. That's a, a C with a B flat in the bass. So three nine and two eight, and I still have this pedal tone. And then the last one. Well, that's an F chord with a B flat in the bass. So all together that. This is this F chord is uh, one five two six three five with the uh, B flat still on the bass. Then I transposed this riff to this. Cool, right? That's a nice chord. Anyways, um, this this riff starts just like yours, two frets down. So two, six, two, five, three, five. This is the tricky part, five, eight. And then it's two frets back from where you do it. So four, five, four, seven, four, five, four, three. Then open string four. And this chord is just open string four, 
three, seven, two, six, open string one. That's a, a D minor nine. Then I do, this is my filler. You like to do that chord like this. That's fine, you can do your C sus like that. I, I just, I prefer that voicing. Then back to, um, the D minor nine and then, I love that sound from C sus to a straight up G. It's such a nice sound though, this is No, uh. Alright, and then what I did was a F, mm, an F with an open third and an open second string, which is like a an F uh, sus two sharp eleven. G major nine. Could have it have that. I like the open second string. And then I just did a C power chord. C A D. And if you could get the third in there, string two fret seven, that'd be great because it's the leading tone to. So you just went through a little walk in the park uh, through uh, D minor and then back to C or back to E minor, huh? whatever, however you want to think about it. But um, the what got us there is this... Um, uh, what did I do? <laughs> oh, this thing. It's a little surprise at first, but when you do the next chord, uh, yeah, that sounds a little more friendly. Actually, it sounds friendly at first because it's a familiar chord. It's a C chord. The only difference is you're putting a B flat in the B. So then, um, it sounds fine when you add the C chord. That's a little weird, but then it's a C and then Then you're all set for your D minor riff. And that kind of keeps you in thinking about the C tonality, right? The C sus chord, because you're gonna come back to it, right? And then, uh, sorry. Then your G. Sorry, I always make my stank face on that one because that's such a cool change. And then your F, C, or a, a G add nine, and then C, A, D. Or whatever it is. So how many beats would that be? One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. Four. All right, that's how that all fits together. Um, I didn't tab it out because a lot of it's similar to what you, you already played and I named all the chords in the video, but if you need anything else, let me know and I'm happy to help out. Have fun, thanks for watching.